Let us now understand what is breathing. You cannot survive for long without breathing. Close your nostrils and mouth tightly and look at a watch. You will feel suffocated after some time. How long were you able to keep both of them closed? A person can keep both his nostrils and mouth closed for approximately one minute without breathing. Breathing means taking in air rich in oxygen and giving out air rich in carbon dioxide with the help of respiratory organs. The taking in of air rich in oxygen into the body is called inhalation and giving out of air rich in carbon dioxide is known as exhalation. It is a continuous process which goes on all the time and throughout the life of an organism. The number of times a person breathes in a minute is termed as the breathing rate. Both inhalation and exhalation take place simultaneously. A breath means one inhalation plus one exhalation. On an average, an adult human being at rest breathes in and out 15 to 18 times in a minute. During heavy exercise, the breathing rate can increase up to 25 times per minute. While we exercise, not only do we breathe fast, we also take deep breaths and thus inhale more oxygen. This figure shows the various activities carried out by a person during a normal day. Can you say in which activity the rate of breathing will be the slowest and in which it will be the fastest? Let us assign numbers to the pictures in the order of increasing rate of breathing according to your experience. When you hold your breath, CO2 builds up within your blood. Increased CO2 is toxic to your body. So the body's natural response to get rid of it is to make you breathe fast and deep to eliminate it. You must have realized that whenever a person needs extra energy, he or she breathes faster. As a result, more oxygen is supplied to our cells. It speeds up the breakdown of food and more energy is released. Thus, we feel hungry after a physical activity. When you feel drowsy, does your breathing rate slow down? 
Yes, as our body is at rest and our body does not need much energy to do work. Does your body receive sufficient oxygen? Yes, the body receives sufficient oxygen. Do you know why we yawn when we are sleepy or drowsy? Our body induces yawning to draw in more oxygen or remove a buildup of carbon dioxide. Our brain needs oxygen to function properly and when we are feeling drowsy, it does not get sufficient oxygen. We yawn to gather a large amount of oxygen for our brain to help it function faster and control drowsiness. Let us